Hey guys, it's Tom again with Symbol Surfing, and today's video we're going to be talking about a game developer stock that's under $10 a share, and I'm going to get right into that, and I want to show you how I found it. Um, I was on the 52-week highs channel on Symbol Surfing, and basically the way that the 52-week 50, highs channel works is it's not just the 52-week highs for the current day. You can actually go back in time to previous days and look at the 52 week highs for that particular day. And what I have found is once a company rallies up to a 52 week high, sometimes it'll just rally more and go higher and higher, but eventually it'll hit a peak and there'll be profit taking, which is normal. Um, it, the stock might pull back, you know, five or 10%, let's say, and it might hit the 50 day moving average. And at that point, when it kind of pulls back and hits that 52, uh, the 50 day moving average, that's kind of an interesting time where I want to look at the stock and see if it's going to make another run at that 52 week high or even go higher. So that's what I'm looking for here. And by the way, um, if that sounds interesting to you, um, the 52 week highs and the all time highs channel works very similarly. Um, that's a prime channel and it's only $59 a month for access to those prime channels. And this kind of explains more about what you get on the prime channels, which ones they are. And of course we have a money back guarantee. You can try it out for 30 days, no risk, uh, money back guarantee. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's look at it. So it's Zynga. So Zynga has a market cap of $11 billion. They closed just under $10 today, $9.98. And this is the 52 week high I was talking about. And it looks like um, prior to hitting that 52 week high, it rallied up from like $8, uh, $9, $10, went sideways, uh, $10.50 pulled back, and then it went all the way up to um, this $12 range sold off after the earnings. This vertical line is an earnings date. Then it hit the uh, 52-week high, and then like it sold off and came back down. So I think this is an interesting time to look at this stock. So let's go ahead and look at the actual um, individual uh, symbol here page. Um, and um, let's go here. So, all right. So on the one-year chart, um, what I'm noticing, and the reason why I think this is an interesting point in time right now is I'm going to draw a, um, excuse me, let me open this up here. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to draw a trend line. And basically a trend line is just wherever you see there, the prices are kind of either hitting at the top or stopping um, from the bottom, something like that. So I'm just noticing that there's a, it's hitting right here on the $10 mark right here. It kind of um, hit that pulled back right here. It's hit it pulled back and it took off and um, went up to this, um, the 52 week high and it came back. It broke through the 50 day moving average, but it did kind of like hold here and it's going sideways at this $10 level or around that $10 level. So I thought that was really interesting. So let's look at the five year chart because I want to show you something else. So on the five-year chart, it was at $2, and it's, like I said, it's rallied all the way up to 12, and then it's pulled back 348% return. Now, here's the max chart. So it's actually down 19% since the IPO, and it looks like the IPO was around 2012, and let's see here. So, yeah, the all-time high was $15.91 back on March, uh, March 2nd, 2012. So obviously after the IPO, this is why IPOs could be very risky, by the way, um, you know, because there's sometimes not a lot of public information available um, about the company. But anyway, so it was very hyped up, got got up there to almost $16 a share, then very quickly dropped down to like $2. And then um, it tried to rally up to 4 or $6 and then came back down to this like 2 $3 level. But then somewhere around, um, it looks like 2017, it really started to gain some steam and uh, really started to get going. And um, so that's kind of where we are now. So, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go back to that one year chart. So I think this is kind of an interesting opportunity right now, um, you know, because we had this run uh, most recently into the earnings, the earnings. Um, after the earnings, um, it pulled back, but then the stock price actually went higher after earnings. I think that's very important because um, the earnings is when the company discloses their financial results for the previous quarter. So the market reaction was after the earnings wasn't just a straight sell off. It did go higher than this previous high. Uh, let me see if I can show it here a little bit better. So yeah, so here was the earnings, it went higher, it sold off, but then it went even higher after that. And now we've sold off, it tried to um, rally again, but I, I really believe this is uh, profit taking. Of course, you know, 
Everything I'm saying is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I don't know the future. I don't think anyone does. Uh, but I just think this is an interesting time to buy the stock um, or at least put it on your watch list. You know, um, something else I've noticed over the years is when a company is at a 52 week high and the all time high is just um, percentage wise, um, not that far away. Um, sometimes the stock can um, hit that 52 week high and uh, also take out the all time high and then just even go higher from there. So um, we're going to have to wait and see, though. Um, like I said, this $10 level is kind of interesting. I would like to see the stock price go above, let's say, 1050, get above this um, 50 day moving average. That would give me more of a confirmation that it's um, moving higher. And then um, I'd like to see it stay along that 50 day moving average. But, you know, with this stock, I mean, it moves quickly too. It moves up and, and down quickly. So, anyways, do your own research. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you know, please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, subscribe, of course. And then um, let me know what you think of Zynga in the comments. So, thanks for watching and have a great weekend.